Well, good day, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. All right, growing sweet potato slips has been an absolute failure for me this year. Um, as you can see, not a slip has grown. So I've gone out and bought some more plants. So we have a Hawaiian, a Northern Star, which is a purple skin, white flesh, the Hawaiian's white skin, purple flesh and a Kumara, which again is a purple skin and white flesh, which is exactly the same one as what I was growing. These ones have been here for about a week, maybe a bit more. Um, so they've greened up again after the transporting. This lot arrived yesterday. We've got some comfrey, which I'm gonna put out there. And this is a white skin, white flesh sweet potato. So, that one's gonna be going out, but as you can see, they're still pretty yellow from transport. So they're gonna be a wee bit before they go out. The last ones that need to go out. Now these ones I had to do a bit of searching for. Uh, these are called a Molokai sweet potato. Uh, they are purple skin, purple flesh, and they are the deepest purple potato, sweet potato that you'll find. Uh, they're from Hawaii. Uh, and I got them from a place called LM Haven, which I will put a link for down in the description. I found her on Facebook, um, and yeah, she's over in Western Australia, and got these wonderful things. These ones, as you can see, I got a bunch of tubers off her for not a lot of money. Uh, they are just starting to sprout. She dug them up, sent them over to me. So I've got them in some soil, just developing some tops on them. So we've got my usual sort of mix for fertilizing. Uh, because I just use a simple uh, potting mix with nothing added to it, I add in the fertilizer later. So we've got a bit of dynamic lifter, some samungus, which is seaweed and fish emulsion, and another organic fertilizer from Utrog, a little bit of ground uh, potash, and a tiny bit of blood and bone in there as well. I don't want too much blood and bone because it'll give me too much nitrogen. So we'll get that mixed up and into the bags. We put the rich stuff in the bottom, then we're just gonna to top it off with a basic one. What I'm trying to do is get the roots to force to go down for the nutrients. Now it's just a matter of popping them in the ground. So, the press. You can tease the roots out, not a huge need. Put them in there. The bottom of the roots are sitting in that fertile material. Uh, they're gonna head down towards it. Press them in and just give them a water in. Huh? Thank you very much for watching and bye for now.